In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple tote bag. You can use these for so many things, but one thing you can do with them is donate them to local foster care organizations. These are called go bags or comfort bags, and they're designed to have a change of clothes and a toothbrush and just everything a child might need for one night in their new foster placement. And you can call your local foster care organization and ask if they take go bags and what they like to have inside of them. Uh, but this, this simple tote bag is easy to make a lot of, um, and it's a really fun project if you're looking to do some charity sewing. To make this tote bag, we're going to start by cutting out one big piece of fabric. This is 14 inches wide by 34 inches long. So it's really long because we're going to fold it over and there won't be a seam at the bottom. And that's pretty much the shape of our tote bag there. So if you want to cut it out on the fold, cut it 17 inches on a fold by 14. And then we're going to prep our webbing first, our nylon webbing. So these are the straps. These are going to be the straps and we need it to be then to be 24 inches long. So we need two straps, 24 inches long. So I'm just using my ruler here and I'm going to use a rotary cutter to cut these really crisp, as crisp as possible. And I'm going to trim up the other side too. And then I'm going to use Fray Check, which is an adhesive glue that will stop fraying. And that's just going to give it a nice finish. So I like to use a little paper so I don't get this on my mat. Um, so just put a little bit across there and then we'll let it dry. It will darken the webbing a little bit, so don't use too much. And you can kind of dip it in too if you have it on your paper. So we're going to let those dry. And while we let them dry, we can assemble the bag. The first step on this project is to serge the tops of the bag. So these short edges will be the tops. You can serge them or finish the edges of the, the raw edges with a zigzag stitch. You can even use fray check since you already have that out. Once that's done, we're going to fold under one inch on both of the top edges. So we're going to finish these edges before we sew the bag together. Um, because this bag is cut from one piece of fabric, it goes really quickly when you're assembling it. So I'm going to press both edges over one inch. Now top stitch those edges about 7 eighths inch from the top of the bag. The next step is to fold the bag with the right sides together and then we're going to pin the edges and sew the edges. So these are just straight seams so they'll be pretty easy to sew and once you've sewn them you can either serge them to finish the edge or you can use a zigzag stitch or fray check. So sew those two side edges finish the seam allowance, and then our last step will be attaching the straps. Now turn your bag right side out. And you can press it if you want. And then we're going to pin the straps to the front and back. So one strap is going to go on both sides of one side of the tote bag. We're going to measure a half, one and a half inches down and two and a half inches over from the edge of the bag. And that's where I'm going to put the bottom of my strap. So I'm going to pin it in place with about two pins. And 
and then measure again on the other side one and a half inches down two and a half inches over and then I'm going to sew this side on before I pin the other side so we're going to sew this with an X shape and then what that means is first we'll make uh, the rectangle go around the whole edge of the rectangle and then we'll go through the diagonal and the other diagonal um, to give it more strength. After you've sewn your straps on, your bag is all ready to fill up and donate.